Hello student, welcome to today's session. Today we will be discussing one important question based on the topic of P block elements. And here as is being asked by many of you people that uh, is there any way by which we can understand uh, inorganic chemistry and that too through mechanism just like in the organic chemistry. So I tried to explain it and uh, will share more such videos where inorganic can also be interpreted through the mechanism. So if in case you like this video, please as, be, as is being suggested by many of you people, uh, I just write it on to the comment section, uh, hashtag chemistry with Gurpreet sir. So this would help me grow as is being suggested by many of you people. So uh, here comes the question. In this question, basically you have to see into the fact that you are being given calcium cinnamide, which is being treated with steam. Uh, which happens to give you P and Q, these arrow pointing downward and upward is showing something get precipitated and other thing has gone out as gas. And uh, question seems like easy, but you have to interpret it well because you have to identify the correct answers out of the four options. In such questions, my always take would be first do, first find out P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, whatever are the things asked in this and then see into the options. So first is we have to treat calcium cinnamide with water. So calcium cinnamide in itself, uh, if I would break it down, it would look like something like this CN22 negative. This is cinnamide ion. And as regard to the bonding of this particular structure, it would look like something like this. So this would have the structure uh, where you would have. So it may have the resonating structure as well if you do it like this, but that would not be as stable as the one just I have shown you because here the carbon would get two negative charge and uh, this would become a triple bond, something like that. So here, this is the first one is more stable because the dispersal of negative charge is onto the two separate nitrogen atoms. Now, now if you know the reaction, the, in the information part you are aware of that what do we get on hydrolysing hydrolyzing the cinnamide ion with water, then the question is very easy. But if in case you don't know, you can interpret just like the way we do it in the organic chemistry. So here, if I do it the viewpoint, just like the mechanism we used to do in the case of I means uh, during the hydrolysis of I means we happen to get aldehyde, which we I'm going to do it in a while. So uh, just like the way we do that way, uh, here also we can use it. And this reaction would require a good amount of uh, heating because throwing out nitrogen out of the system and placing oxygen in, instead of it is a difficult process. So here, what I am going to do is, first I would attack it like this and this goes like this. So what then do I get here is something like this. So here, this nitrogen would get two negative charge and uh, this you shall be getting it. Now you are going to do the intramolecular proton exchange on this. Intramolecular proton exchange like this. So that the, the oxygen would get uh, uh, get relieved of the positive charge. And here you would get NH and the still there is one negative charge and here you would get OH. Now again you can do the intramolecular proton exchange on this side as well. In, in doing so, what I shall be getting here is something like NH, this would become NH and here you have a double bond NH negative and this would have a negative charge then. Now just make its resonating structure like the way I am showing you. This is nothing but the resonating structure we have created and this becomes NH negative. C double bond O. So you happen to get uh, two two hydrogens got attached. I I may have used directly also that just better place it H here on this side and place H on this side also. But this is the best better way to explain it in a proper way. Now what else? Then you would go for again the water would attack the way we did the. Uh, just few minutes back just the way we started with again water would attack it and as a consequence what shall I be getting here is negative this becomes NH negative and here you would get that thing again 
and here you have NH once again, NH negative once again. So here now to just save my time, I can directly do it like this. This H goes here, this H also goes here. In doing so, this oxygen, when one H gone, one H positive intramolecular proton exchange again, I have did it. So on doing the intramolecular proton exchange, what I am able to get, this oxygen would become neutral. The other H positive when goes, this oxygen would again get a negative charge. So what shall I then be getting? NH negative, this carbon, this would, sorry, this, this becomes neutral, sorry. So this achieved one more hydrogen and this becomes negative. This already is negative and this is NH2. So just to write it onto the next page, let me place it here only. Uh, just the way, just hold on. Okay. So what we shall got here is O negative NH2. O negative NH2. Now, what then I shall be doing it now. So, this goes here. You can throw this out. But this is a difficult process. It would require good amount of refluxing. Because throwing out NH2 negative is not easy because it's a bad living group. So, this goes out. As a consequence, what you get is carbon dioxide. Along with what you get is 2 moles of NH2 negative. This is what you have achieved. Again, Still, I can hydrolyze it with another mole of water. This goes here, this goes here. As a consequence, what shall then I be getting? So this O and this is negative. And rather I should show it on to this side. So here you would get OH, OH positive and this oxygen becomes negative. So you adapt on to this carbon which is having a delta positive charge and this becomes negative. Now, what I can do here is directly the way we did few minutes back, just place this H positive onto this side. One H positive goes to this and this oxygen's positive charge gone back. Uh, it become neutral and another H positive if I would pick from here and give it to the NH2 negative. So, this becomes two moles of ammonia. As a consequence, here you would generate all of these steps are at equilibrium. But the last step is forward driven. Hardly it would reverse back because you would get here a carbonate ion which got precipitated with calcium and here you would get two moles of ammonia which as a gas would leave out the reaction mixture. This because we started with an anion. We haven't touched the calcium ion. This is calcium ion is still there in the system and this calcium ion then would uh, you know, re would attach itself to the carbonate ion and it get precipitated as calcium carbonate solid. So that is being shown in the reaction. So in, in totality, how many water molecules I have used here? So I can mark that one water is this. How many water we have used in this hydrolysis, all entire of this hydrolysis. Another water molecule here. First, we started from here and the uh, third one is here. So, three moles of water we have used. So, in totality, you have used three moles of water to give you calcium carbonate and two moles of ammonia. Two moles of ammonia. So, this they are saying it as P and this they are saying it as Q. So, one is P and why is this is called as Q? I am going to answer it well while we discuss the options. Now, going on for the next one, thereafter they said, once you get this, this calcium carbonate is being heated strongly. So this would give you calcium oxide solid, very simple it is, and with evolving out carbon dioxide gas because this is being shown like this. This arrow is downward, so it got as a residue and this carbon dioxide goes, uh, goes out as a gas. So this is also very easy. Now, this calcium oxide is then being treated with coke. They said coke at a temperature of around 1000 degrees centigrade. So this is a metallurgical process which has happened where you would end up getting, uh, you know, carbon monoxide as a gas and along with that you would get calcium carbide. So calcium carbide is being formed when you treat calcium oxide with coke. So here I shall be requiring two moles of carbon. Is it okay? And this calcium carbide is then treated with nitrogen to give you back the calcium cinnamide. Now this again is a very very important reaction which you should have you have to mark it 
because calcium carbide when treated with nitrogen at a high temperature it gives gives you calcium <coughs> cinnamide now as regard to the options in the this particular question we are through the question basically what we have said that this is basically calcium carbonate this is your ammonia this is we have already done about and this is your calcium oxide calcium oxide and this is carbon dioxide and calcium oxide is being treated with coke to give you calcium carbide and this calcium carbide is then treated with nitrogen to give you calcium cinnamide along with the evolution of coke so that is what we have already done with so as regard to the options here uh, now q is a alkaline pungent colored gas so you have to identify the correct statement so you need to be very vigilant while opting because you have gone through the question and you have interpreted everything rightly now you have to do it very carefully q is a alkaline ammonia is a alkaline species pungent it is having an noxious smell colored gas it is not a colored gas it is a colorless gas so this statement in itself is a wrong one so this particular small thing which you have written is colored it is not the correct one it is it is a colorless gas second u is calcium carbide this is u which is calcium carbide which is perfectly right with us so this is calcium carbide and p is your calcium carbonate so this seems like a correct answer this is correct s and t are neutral s and t what are s and t this is your s and what was t that was carbon monoxide gas so both of these are neutral nothing wrong in it non polar colorless gases these are colorless but these are not both of these are not non polar this is non polar but carbon monoxide would definitely be having some polarity because this is delta negative this is delta positive so it must have some polarity so it is a polar gas so in that sense this option is also wrong so you need to do the things very critically and last thing they said calcium carb cinnamide and calcium carbide have unequal number of pi bonds so if i just would break uh, calcium cinnamide so this is having uh, two pi bonds two sigma bonds there are two pi bonds and there are two sigma bonds and if you break this one this also would give you because along with that you would get calcium ion here also you would get calcium ion and carbide ion and carbide ion is something like this again here in this case you have two pi bonds and one sigma bond so there is one sigma and two pi bonds so they said both are having unequal number of pi bonds which in a way is a wrong statement both of these are having two pi bonds so this statement is also wrong so we are almost done with the question and just to <laughs> uh in thrill you that everything can be done with the mechanism as well you have to develop it some way so just like the last reaction calcium carbide treated with nitrogen to give you calcium cinnamide along with carbon this combination in itself is also said as nitroleum just for your uh, knowledge bank this is also called as nitroleum so if i have to develop this mechanism how do i go for it so i just would attack it this goes here as a consequence what i would get here is something like this so this becomes triple bond and here you would get something like this this would become a negative charge here now if i would push this here and this goes here as a consequence what i shall be getting because this the this electron these two electrons when is went between carbon nitrogen bond this be, this carbon would become neutral so and here also you would get a double bond and this would become n2 negative and to do it more in this way because you have to create carbon has to be put between the two nitrogen atoms so you have to think it the way i am just intuitively placing it here so what then you can go for and if we would say it like this that this bond goes here and this goes out as a consequence this carbon would get a positive charge and here you would get a triple bond and along with that you would get n3 negative this is what we have generated but now what it would do it this attacks here 
if it attacks air this goes out and as a consequence what you would get carbon as a co coming out of the system along with n2 negative has attacked this carbon triple bond now this can undergo uh, resonance uh, the next resonating structure you would get for this is nitrogen with a negative charge double bond carbon double bond nitrogen with a negative charge so you get back this particular thing in this process so in the process what you are able to get here is you get the carbon as a coke in the process and also you would get with cinnamide ion so i hope you have liked this particular discussion where i did everything in and around the mechanism uh, inorganic with the mechanism and one more thing i just would add just like in the organic chemistry if you have i mean with you and you wanted to do its hydrolysis the shortcut we usually tell you is just do it like this you just have to uh, throw out ammonia out and you would get the oxygen the mechanism we just have done with you would get that same similarity so you happen to get like this if you could recall we have made this species within from the cinnamide and then we have attacked it with the water so same way we can do it this way also that if this particular species is being treated with water so this attacks here this goes here and you would get something like this oh oh so things if you would see in a greater perspective the things are quite related in many ways now you just would say intramolecular proton exchange and here you would get rch oh and here you would uh, get with the nh2 now take this here and this goes out and this nh2 negative which went out only on strong heating takes this h positive along with so you end up getting aldehyde along with ammonia because amide taking out amide through the help of water is a very tough process so this would require a good amount of hydrolysis thanks a lot if in case you liked it do not forget to use this in the comment section chemistry with gurpreet sir maybe this would help me to grow my channel a little faster thanks a lot have a nice day stay safe take good care of yourselves